actually I graduated my BTEC in this year, turned 18 from MAIT, IP University in Delhi. And uh, so in my second year, I tried uh, uh, for uh, PCOG. So right now I am a research associate at PCOG in Triplight Delhi. And uh, in my second year, I tried to apply to PCOG, but I was rejected. Yeah, so in third year, I uh, applied to PCOG again, and uh, this time I got through. So I joined the lab, and uh, I've been working since two years uh, here in Triplight uh, Delhi. And uh, last year only in December, in September, I guess, I was uh, cold emailing a lot of professors uh, outside India, uh, requesting for some research work if, uh, if there is an opportunity with someone. So incidentally, this uh, UMD HCIL security lab uh, got through and uh, they replied to me and they were very kind to give me the opportunity to work with them. And I've been working uh, with both of them since. Yeah. So in my research, uh, actually there are two areas. One is uh, the social security, uh, social science, computational social science that I do at Right Delhi. And the second is usability security and uh, that I do at UMD. So the ultimate outcome that drives my research is uh, advancing security on the internet and uh, making the internet a more secure place. So the work that I do at IT is uh, focused more on studying the social networks like Facebook, Twitter, uh, all these you know, networks and basically finding uh, flaws and finding security holes in them. So like one of the research papers uh, got published uh, this year was uh, one of my papers was uh, studying and detecting spam on online social networks. So what happens is on Twitter and uh, especially on Twitter, what happens is a lot of people post spam uh, saying that uh, we are from Microsoft. Uh, we, if you have a, if you have this kind of a problem, we will be able to help you and we will charge some amount of money and will fix the problem. But what they do instead is they gain access to your computer. They install malware instead of fixing it. And then they charge you money for it. And then they perpetually have control of your computer. Right. So that is a security flaw. And we, we uh, studied the kind of tweets. So we studied the pattern that these uh, spammers use on social networks and we published results by which you can extrapolate results from one. So we can go cross platforms. What you can do is if you know that some kind of spam is originating on Twitter, you can use the intelligence and apply it on Facebook to eliminate the spam there. Right. So this, this make, makes the online social networks more secure, secure place. Right. This is the computational social science part, but uh, on the mm -hmm. other hand, uh, more interesting and more, uh, relatable part for students would be uh, usable usable security which is uh, what we do is we analyze security advice what we've done in the previous work is we have analyzed security advice so like uh, there is some antivirus who has who says that this is our privacy policy so what happened recently was we all got emails from gdpr saying that we have changed the privacy policies to make it more secure for you right the data change policy uh, data security right so mm -hmm. uh, now what happens is those privacy policies are not readable by uh, most of the users. Uh, okay. They are very, very obscure to obscure to read, obscure to understand. So what we did is we compared the readability of uh, different kind of corpora and then uh, made suggestions as to what can be done to make them more understandable to the users. And, uh, I don't think there is anything as success in research because uh, it is only a matter of like what questions you are pursuing and uh, it is, you can only put in work. The output uh, is only driven by your own hard work. Other than that, you do not control uh, which problems would be successful, which problems would get a good output in say less amount of time. Those things mm -hmm. are not in your control. So right. and success in research, I don't think it can be uh, defined very objectively. Is very subjective to everyone and for me i've only started right yeah. so it depends uh it depends on what you want out of uh, your life basically what, what you want out of your graduation what you want out of your education so most of the people i know have very short-term goals 
as to I, I need to get a good job after my graduation. So if you have a short term outlook, uh, I don't think you should work for Mepa. Only if you have a long term outlook saying that, okay, I want to do this thing after 20 years or 10 years. And for then you backtrack, then you see if you want to be there at 20 years, you need to be here at 10 years. For being here at 10 years, you need to be here at five years. Right. right. So to be here at five years, you need to do this right now. So then mm -hmm. you can give, you can view the larger picture. And then you basically have the courage to take these. So I, I uh, did not register for placements in my college because I did not have the time to like spend, uh, spend, spend time on the interview and all those things. So that is, those are some hard calls. I think that people, uh, shy away from in college because they think that getting a job out of college is everything. But, uh, my view is that, uh, it is, uh, it is actually not. Like, as I tell my juniors, you need to be very focused and planned right from the start. I started only when I entered college. Before entering college, I did not, did not do anything. So what they need to do is they need to plan semester wise that see internships start after the second year. Okay. If you are, internships will start hiring you after second year. And that is the main deal that you want to crack. Without internships, you don't get anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. In your first mm -hmm. and second year, you need to get your fundamentals strong. You need to do uh, all those uh, data structures, algorithms, um, maybe some advanced courses like machine learning, data science. These things you need to finish off. Android development, web development. These things are very basic things which a student should do and finish off in their first two years of graduation. Uh, that is with internships, with good projects. Only then they'll be able to make it through uh, good internships in the third year. Now, entering third year, they need to focus on uh, their uh, communication skills so they can communicate with professors if they want to apply for academic internships or managers or at big companies if they want to um, uh, get an internship uh, at a industry level so so now that so now after your second year your target should be to get a good internship if not after the second year then after the third year now once you have a good internship you have a good outlook you have a good, good perspective on what you want to do it. Right. So after that, you will be able to make decisions yourself, but till getting a good internship, you need to follow this, uh, thing that finish your basics up to year two. That is what I'll say. So I, I am not saying that try to be adventurous. I'm just saying, don't try to play it safe. Just don't try to do what everyone is doing and think that whatever you do, other than that would be wrong. That is not being adventurous per se, but just don't try to be like, I will get good, good grades and I will sit in the class and I'll get, uh, I'll pass my graduation and they'll get, get a good job and then have a good life. So for a, for a non IIT, non IIT student that does not work in my experience. Uh, the group that I have uh, in the Delhi in India, that is triple IIT Delhi pre -corp. That is one of the best research groups in India. And, uh, mm -hmm. once you uh, are working there, so I, when I, when I was applying for internships abroad, I was already working there for one year. So I had a fairly good idea of what research is, what the problems are. And I was fairly nice, fairly, uh, I would say fairly mature to understand what, uh, what research papers are. So, um, I was reading a lot of, I emailed about 10 or 15 professors abroad after reading the papers, so one mail took me about a week to write because I used to read their papers, then find out the meat and write an email, kind of an SOP to uh, request work with them. But I did not get any response. Now, luckily I met a professor of UMD in a talk in Delhi. So he had come for a talk. So I met him and I told him about working with this group. And then I told him that I'm trying to get a RA ship somewhere. So he said that, uh, okay, so my university, some people, some of the faculty is looking for RAs and you can apply there. So, so I just sent an email to the professor that he suggested and I luckily got a response. So I would say that it is mostly luck in this case, but, uh, you can replace that foreign experience with working in good research groups in India too. In India too, you have research groups like PCOG which mm -hmm. give you that experience that you get abroad.
about your kit uh, actually i heard about it on the for the first time when i saw the facebook group online so i ha- i am on the facebook group since the last one year at least that is when i heard about it first and then after that uh, while sending my transcripts uh, about a few days ago that is when i used your kit and the experience was very good so oh. yeah so after that when I, whenever i apply again i'll definitely try to use your kit services uh as i said success is uh, very subjective uh, uh-huh. it is not an objective so for me i guess success would be to have comfortable life uh doing what i love 